Now, I wouldn't normally associate the words living and robot, and I doubt a lot of you would either, but we can't say the same about researchers at the University of Vermont and Tufts University. They announced this week that they have successfully developed tiny living machines of sorts. To paraphrase researcher Joshua Bongard, these aren't traditional robots or a known species of animal. These are something else entirely. These are living, programmable organisms. The team calls these millimeter-wide blobs xenobots, which they made using the stem cells of the African clawed frog. Once those stem cells have been left to incubate for a while, they were woven together into specific shapes defined by an evolutionary algorithm running on the University of Vermont's Deep Green Supercomputer Cluster. The first batch of samples were designed to perform very basic tasks, like moving in a certain direction, with frog skin cells providing the basic passive structure of the xenobots, while heart and muscle cells gave them the ability to move. Later versions were built with holes in their centers, which reduced drag and even allowed them to carry payloads. The team knew they were onto something when they spotted xenobots appearing to cooperate, moving around in circles and pushing pellets into a central location. I say appearing to because these things are just skin and muscle. There is, there is no gray matter here at all. In any case, it didn't take long for researchers to see the possibilities here. After a lot of future fine tuning, these self-healing machines could be used to deliver drugs, to targeted organs, scrape the plaque out of your arteries, or even clean up radioactive waste. This research is obviously in its very early stages, so don't expect to hear about these little guys running wild anytime soon. For now, the team seems more interested in understanding the method by which these technically brainless organisms are able to communicate and seemingly collaborate with each other. If we can figure out how complex behaviors emerge from simple base units like these xenobots, well, that could make for staggering developments not just in the field of biology, but in computer science and robotics too. For now though, all we can really do is sit back and wait to see what these things are really capable of. If you're curious to learn more about these xenobots and really everything else going on in tech and science, be sure to keep it locked on Engadget, and thanks for watching.